Okay, we just um, found uh, all the, for each number in the list, we found a percentile that corresponds to it. But um, let's go back to our, our numbers. Remember, we still have A1 through A20. And I want to find the first quartile. I'm going to find the second quartile, which is also the median. Third quartile. And let's start with those, and then we'll talk about the other ones. So to find the first quartile, I'll do equals. And um, this is what I like, even though it's for an old, older version of Excel 2007. If I choose quartile, and then I put the range, so A1 colon A, I think, 20, comma, and then it comes up and pops up and tells you uh, 0 for a minimum value, 4 for the maximum value. For a first quartile, we put 1 in. So if we choose that, that's our first quartile. Then I'll do equals quartile, and then A1 colon A20, then 2 for the second quartile, which is the same as median. Equals quartile, then A1 colon A20, then comma 3 for the third quartile. So those would be our quartiles. Now, um, the new formulas for this, if I do equals quartile, there is uh, this first one, quartile.exe, returns a quartile of a data set uh, based on percent, percent values from 0 to 1, uh, exclusive. Uh, exclusive means it excludes 0 and 1. Um, then uh, there's inclusive, which means it includes 0 and 1. Um, some people might argue that uh, what, a, what a percentile means, if I say you're in 90th percentile, that means your score is better than 90% of the data. Well, if I say you're in 100th percentile, well, that means you're better than 100% of the data. But if you're better than 100% of the data, you're actually included in the data. So that some people might say that doesn't make any sense. So I think that's why they included these. I haven't read. Um, but again, if you want inclusive, like that one there, then you do quartile.inc, and it's still the same, A1 colon A20. That hasn't changed. And then you put your 1 for your, your first quartile. Now let's see the difference in that. And I don't know if it will be a difference, but let's do the exclusive. A1, A20, and then 1 for the first quartile. Now you notice my options there no longer has 0 and um, 4 for the smallest value and largest value, the min and max. Ah, it gives you 6. Um, so again, I suppose it's a different philosophy. Uh, but um, in terms of Excel 2010, the inclusive is the one you'd want to use to match these formulas. So like this one would be quor quartile inclusive. I da down arrow to that, and I'll press tab now. And then A1 colon A20 comma 2. And then um, quartile inclusive A1 a20 comma 3. Okay, so that's how you find your quartiles. Now percentiles. Let's say I want to find um, the 25th percentile, for example. Well, 27th percentile. 25th percentile, same as the first quartile, um, but it's 27th percentile. If I come over here, I would uh, spot which one was closest 27, and then uh, I'd use it as an approximate. Um, you know that uh, the this this point here or the this number nine would correspond to it. Well, it's not very precise. So let me come over here and type equals, and I'm first show you the old version of Excel. Equals percentile down here, and I did tab to finish that, and then a1 colon a20 comma and then I'll put in uh, K as our percentile, so put in 27. Now you might have to put in 0.27, but we'll see. Uh -huh. uh, let me come here and put 0.27. And that would give us 9.39. Now um, that was pretty close to this over here. This was 9, but it's not exact. This is, gives us the exact value. Let me show another one, 53rd percentile. I'm going to do equals and choose percentile. 
and then I'll do A1 colon A20 comma and I guess I got to put in a decimal 0.53 for 53rd percentile and that gives us that now 53rd percentile is pretty close to this one right here which was the data point 23 and you see how we got 23.56 so that's how you find a percentile now for the new version of Excel you got equals percentile and you got exclusive which excludes 0 and 1 and then you got inclusive which includes 0 and 1 and the inclusive one is the same as the the old version of Excel so I'll choose that and then I'll do A1 colon A20 and on this one I'm finding 27th percentile so after I've done a comma I do 0.27 close parentheses and this one I do percentile inclusive a1 colon a20 comma and then point five three close parentheses so that's how you uh, find a specific percentile in Excel based upon raw data